Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is your March 1st update on my hydroponic system. We have the Dutch buckets over here and we have the flood and drain over there. Uh, as you can see, it continues to be untrellised and growing like a, I don't even know. It's a monster, it's taking up my whole side walkway here. Apparently one of these is not like the rest. We do have sun sugar, sun gold, cherry tomato here in the center. Over there we have the uh, over there we have the Costa Ludo Genovese and over here I've noticed that it doesn't look like the other ones. I thought this was a Costa Ludo Genovese as well but look at these guys. This is a huge cluster. This is just one one cluster here and they look like small beefsteak. I really don't know what they are, uh, but they, they taste very, very good. Let's see this one down here. They're all thrown about. They're over here. So I thought this one was also Costa Ludo Genovese, but it turns out to be something else. At this point, everything is intertwined, so you'll also see some of the sun sugar over here. Obviously, I need to trellis this next time. There's no doubt, but here are some ripe ones that I picked not too long ago. And you can see that there is just tomatoes everywhere. There's some that fell off, they're on the floor, but it's just loaded with tomatoes. Here's one. So I come out here every day, every other day, grab a handful of tomatoes, throw them into my fresh salads. It's really, really burning up the nutrients now. These are these are huge plants. And uh, probably every two days I gotta come out here and fill this back. It's already due to be filled back up. Here you can see the flow returning from the buckets. Uh, this is obviously the feed here going up on the top. And that's how it's coming together. You see this tomatoes on the floor. I definitely won't be doing this again. I hope you guys learn from the mess I've created here. Uh, definitely truss it up and you can uh, trim back the vines. But there's just huge clusters everywhere. Let's roll on over here to the flood drain table. We have the papayas coming up very, very nicely. Soon these will be transplanted into the ground. This is a rather big plant already for this tiny little planter. We have this trying to root over here. That's a lemon. We have the peppers. The leaves are becoming huge. Look at this one. I don't know what the variety is, but we will find out. I think there's about three different varieties here. This one might even be bell pepper. From what I've noticed, the bigger the leaf, the bigger the pepper. So <laughs> this might be a big one. This one here, eh, nothing going on. Back here, a ton of flowering. Right there. Let's look at that. Beautiful flowers. We have dragon fruit, as always. We have a little guy coming up here again. I think this is a cutting. We can pull him out. Maybe he'll begin to root. Don't know. But he does have new um, growth coming out, so I'm sure he will root. This here is a mango cutting that I placed in here, and it has since grown leaves, so I'm imagining that this will also root. Again, more papaya. I think this is the biggest one that I have here. I wouldn't be surprised if I start seeing flowers and uh, budding going on there. More papaya, more papaya. Down here we have ground, oh, this is weird. So down here we have ground cherries. Um, I don't think I have any ripe ones yet 
but I did just see a really weird one. This is super weird. I don't know if these are intended to be grown in hydroponics. I don't think there's many people out there that grow them in hydroponics, but here it is. It's already started to grow pretty focus, pretty prolifically, and I think it's gonna come over the side. It's gonna look incredible. So inside these, there's like little fruits. Maybe I'll just take one off so you guys can see. Um, they resemble tomatoes, focus. They resemble tomatoes. Uh, obviously this one's not ripe, but um, they're supposed to be a little bit sweeter. Oh no. Uh, they're supposed to be a little sweeter than the uh, tomatoes. Here we have some of the, these were cuttings from the sun sugar. They were growing fine and now they appear to have some type of deficiency. It's very strange because I don't see that in any other plants in this system. They all use the same nutrients. So I don't know if it's related to uh, something that's happening over here, uh, but we'll continue to monitor this. The fruit looked fine. Everything looks fine. The new growth looks horrible. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to monitor this because there's newer growth down here that looks fine. So I'm not entirely certain what's going on with these guys, but I should add some plants to this tray over here. And remember all these trays on this side, they flood up pretty high. You can see the water level there. This one here has a much lower riser, so it only floods up about an inch. I uh, don't wanna drown these tiny little plants here. Over here, we have more dragon fruit. This needs to be trellised and supported onto here. Uh, this was a dragon fruit that I placed in here, no trellis, no nothing, and it seems to be uh, the winner of a bunch of volunteer plants. Uh, we could see a volunteer tomato here. I, I didn't specifically place a tomato in there. Uh, there's a volunteer papaya. So, Probably end up trimming all that back. I just want to see what comes out of this uh, tomato vine. I know it's, I do throw the older tomatoes there, the ones I find on the floor, but there's no way that it would have uh, grown to the size already from seed. Again, here we have some more dragon fruit. This is Haley's Comet that I planted the, uh, what is that? October 2020. This is also a Haley's Comet. And this one was planted a little bit earlier. It doesn't seem to be growing at all. Once it made it up here, it just stayed there. And I don't see any shoots except this one. This is the newest shoot. And it's actually interesting because it's flat and then it turns into three-sided. Over here we have uh, fig not doing so well. This needs to be set up with some type of irrigation because these dry out and uh, Unless I come out here and physically water them. They don't really do anything Here we have a fig. I just cut the top off and uh, to prune it And here is a lemon tree uh, It's got some stuff going on. I throw the old tomatoes in there for them to decompose and turn into something else, but oh Look at this beauty. So this is right here is the sun gold, sun sugar cherry tomato, and this one is perfectly ripe. This is the color that they turn. Absolutely delicious. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember, check back in, hit that subscribe, hit that like. Down below you'll see uh, affiliate links to Amazon products that I use and or recommend. Uh, any purchases through those does help the channel. But uh, till next time, peace.